Just before I show off the new 3.21 version of Time Planner, I'd like to point out that for Android 12 and 13, you need to grant the new permission so the alarms and notifications do work properly. So you have updated the app, you see what's new dialog, and when you tap on OK, you will be asked to tap on the switch in the system settings you will be redirected to. So please do allow setting alarms and reminders so they work properly. Don't worry, it doesn't affect any of other settings or your privacy within the app. All right, let me go to schedule tab and show you everything there. First of all, you see much more text in the time boxes. Why? Because you can fit as many tasks or any of other tasks as possible, depending on the size of this box. So the smaller the objects are, the less text you see. And also dragging and resizing steps do depend on the scale now. So if you make it really small, the dragging step equals 10 minutes, like I can drag it in 10 minutes. And if it is quite big, the dragging step and resizing step two goes up to one minute per view movement. All right, next thing. When you tap on the activity in part of day mode, it expands. And you can mark as completed all of the tasks pinned to an activity in just one tap using this button. And also, you can change the ratio between the part of day and timeline mode if you use them simultaneously, like I do. Like this, using this button, one press on it, and that's it. And next, you can change the type of activity from amount of time to time range and vice versa. And actually, it's the feature that many of you asked for now it's here and the punchline of this update is the feature that we call filters so now you can make a precise search for specific objects within schedule tab so let's say i'd like to see the one-time activities with high priority tasks and save and here i can see them to go back to all scheduled activities quickly, I just use the regular mode button. And for pro version, you can actually create this specific filter and name it. So let's say I'll have my high priority saved. And now I can use this filter to access specific objects in like one tab and that's it. I can create the whole list of those filters and can edit or delete them anytime. All right, I'm done for now and you have great time planning and implementing.